people inside of uh, multiple people inside Pfizer, a lot of people on the Border Patrol, a lot of, of people in Customs and Border Patrol. And of course, the FBI is listening. Uh, so um, uh, good for you. But uh, we have um, <laughs> the FBI. They become, you, I'm just going to say it on the record. You've become a weaponized intelligence operation. Used to be a law enforcement operation, but you've become a weaponized in, domestic intelligence operation. Uh, and, um, you know, if uh, you come after me, I've, I don't break the law. So if you come after me, uh, uh, the rank and file inside your organization will hopefully revolt because. Existing in a fake world, a world which was created by man. The creator gave us the earth. He put us here in the universe. He gave us our minds. He gave us all these tools to exist and survive within the war on drugs. is a war on people. people. And people's rights are being violated. And you're incarcerating and caging human beings, oftentimes who are simply victims of the sickness of addiction, who have become sucked up into this giant war on drugs, which is in fact a crime against humanity. A crime against humanity. The war on drugs is a war. Ms. Monaco, I want to come back to this extraordinary letter and memorandum that the Attorney General of the United States issued yesterday. Practically every day brings new reports about this administration weaponizing the federal bureaucracy to go after political opponents. Frankly, I don't think we've ever seen anything like it in American history. I mean, for those of us who missed the McCarthy era, I guess this president is intent on bringing it to us but with new force and new power and new urgency, unlike anything we've ever seen. Are you aware of any time in American history when an attorney general has directed the FBI to begin to intervene in school board meetings? Local school board?